Hey there everyone, this is the DJI Goggles 2. Yep, I'm one of those suckers that jumped on board and uh, got these as soon as they were released. So I uh, am coming from the analog world and I uh, decided to jump into D DJI uh, instead of the uh, walk snail fat shark system, the avatar. This is, uh, of course, it comes with the bundle of the avatar uh, drone. So I'm not doing a review on these goggles, but um, I just wanted to show something that I found. Um, uh, Mads Tech also uh, did highlight this, where he was able to stream Joshua Bardwell's video through the goggles. Uh, and he did that over, I think, a local Wi-Fi network, his home Wi-Fi. Um, I was able to get it working with a direct uh, Wi-Fi network or link between the goggles and my phone directly. So yeah, I'm, I'm able to stream a, uh, a file or uh, you know videos and stuff directly to the goal. So if you are on a plane or public transport and you want to use this and look like a, more of a dork uh, in those public spaces uh, instead of flying FPV, then you can. Um, not uh, saying that I will be doing something like that, but it's just something that uh, it's nice to know that your goggles can do that and you might be able to use it in some way. Uh, one other thing that I did try to do with it as well is to stream live uh, video of the screen uh, because if we're able to do that then we, able, we can practice FPV um, but it seems I'm not able to get that to work. Um, for one of the apps on the phone on Android I was able to get it to work uh, and stream the screen but the problem was that uh, there was a latency of about three seconds and of course with anything to do with FPV and um, practicing flying that is not suitable. So um, I'm just going to go through and explain how I did that just to show an example of being able to connect directly to an Android phone and then stream a video to the goggles. I'm Nam Pam, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are. Um, I have the DJI goggles uh, with my camera pointed into one of the lenses and I hope that is clear and in this menu section of more we do have a selection that is called wireless streaming so we can click on that and it takes you into uh, a menu selection of the Wi-Fi networks so we'll go down to NXP 200 I've set that up on my phone um, and we can check that here on my phone and you can see here that I've got the network name as NXP 200 the password I've left as 8As of course that's not my regular password but I've done that so that it's easier for me to enter it in when I go into this one here so I'm gonna have to close this uh, kill this one so you can actually remove and forget the network and I'll reset it to the network again and once I have the mobile hotspot on I can then just scroll to AAAA -A 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 -A. so that's eight A's scrolling back to OK I can then connect so this screen here just shows me that that's the uh, device that will show up on any DLNA enabled um, app that you would like to stream from. So one of the apps that I was able to find was Bubble UPnP. So clicking on that. Um, other apps allow you to stream over local networks, but this app here, I was able to find that I can stream it directly from my phone by having a hotspot. The other apps were not able to do it. So let's just see if this turns on. Might try the cancel so I've got a video here that I've have on my phone um, of the a three inch that I built so I can click on this button here you'll see that it comes up and so shows me select renderer and you can see that's exactly the same Wi-Fi so you can click on that and 
when I hit play, it should start streaming on the goals. So there you go. As you can see, it's not on the my home Wi-Fi, but it is directly from my phone. And you can do this anywhere. So you don't have to have a, uh, a home Wi-Fi turned on. So I forgot to mention that there's also a 3.5 mil jack on the left hand side. So you can plug in your regular earphones or headphones. And this allows for the uh, audio of the streamed movie or video to come through. Um, there's also grills on the left hand right hand side of the goggles as well as you can see here that allow for the audio to come out speakers so if you don't plug in any headphones to the 3.5 mil jack audio will come out of the goggles themselves anyhow i hope that helped someone out there um, just to see what you can do with these goggles and hopefully we're able to get uh, dlna live streaming with a low latency. I don't know if that's ever possible with DLNA. I'm not any expert in that um, field, but uh, if we're able to get that, then that would be perfect. We'd be able to stream that. Not only that, but then we might be able to then get uh, some analog input as well um, via some trickery. So as you can see there, I was an idiot and had the drone hit my hand. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, cheers.